So biologic therapies are a really important therapy now that we have for patients with chronic skin diseases like psoriasis as well as atopic dermatitis. The reason why they're very important is twofold. One, we've used many drugs in the past that have a broad immunosuppression. Biologics give us the opportunity to treat psoriasis or atopic dermatitis by targeting the parts of the immune system that are responsible for those diseases. So therefore, we are just targeting those cytokines that cause inflammation. So it's been very successful because there are fewer side effects and better efficacy. So over the past decade, the science and the technology has really advanced in the care of psoriasis patients as well as atopic dermatitis. And now we have many biologics available to us for the treatment of moderate to severe type of psoriasis. So we know that we can now expect complete clearance for patients, which a decade ago was unheard of. Uh, we also have agents that we can use that also target not only plaque psoriasis, but psoriatic arthritis. Our newest agents in atopic dermatitis have been the first time we've had a systemic treatment that was FDA approved for moderate to severe atopic dermatitis. And it's really, really changed the lives of our patients. And so it's exciting to see, and there are more to come. So biologics are new science and technology. And there's so many parts of our immune system and there's so much of disease and understanding the pathogenesis to things like psoriasis and atopic dermatitis. So we need to know more. We need more research into what relationships does psoriasis have to um, all the comorbidities such as diabetes, cardiovascular disease. We're learning more about lymphoma, about non-melanoma skin cancers. So our immune system doesn't affect just our skin, it affects our entire body. So there has to be a lot more research um, going forward for that. And we have many, many, many um, drugs that are being studied now. And so we'll likely see more BFD approved for both psoriatic arthritis, plaque psoriasis, as well as atopic dermatitis.